Hello, everyone. So I have the honor of introducing to you Dr. Pratiksha, rank for November 2022, INICT. Awesome rank, awesome performance by a brilliant girl, DAMS Foundation course student, followed by INICT TND. Entire DAMS family is here wishing you congratulations and best wishes for your future bache. What is your reaction? When, what was your reaction when you saw the result, beta? Honestly, I had to check my result twice or thrice before believing it. Uh, I literally had to scroll through all the pages thinking whether it was my roll number or not. And uh, I did cross check multiple times to see whether it was my result. And I'm truly overwhelmed by this result. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bache, for validating our efforts with your results. You know, we yes. feel really, really proud when you do so well in life. And, you know, not only here, I feel so proud when students write to me years later. Okay, now they are now associate professor or professor. I feel so proud. So this yes, is, sir. I think, the first step in your journey, but I am already very proud, Beta. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, Pratiksha, I want to know from you now, like yes. uh, you, you started with the DAMS Foundation course in our Bangalore yes, Center. Sir. How was your yes, experience? Sir. And uh, uh, did starting early help you to form concepts at ease? Truly, sir. I mean, starting early helps a lot because uh, it clears the basic concepts, which is very important for cracking exam like I and I. So I started with foundation in my third year and uh, the experience of face to face classes was really good. Uh, like we could uh, clear our doubts with the faculties on point and we did have a nice group of friends also. Uh, we used to sit together, listen to the classes and then discuss in the breaks, etc. And uh, after my three years of foundation, I had a good set of notes and those notes were really helpful for me, even for my last minute revision. So DAMS notes like pretty much contained everything which was important for revision as well as for first reading. So after that, I joined uh, INI TND course uh, in July. And uh, that also gave me an extra edge because I could see that there were some questions in the paper which were like direct repeats from the INI TND. Like, uh, so INI TND did mimic the pattern of uh, the actual INI CET a lot. And, you know, talking about the pattern, you know, uh, did you feel this year's paper was, uh, the November paper was slightly different from the May paper or do you think they were similar? How oh, can you you know help us with the subject-wise distribution or any observation about the paper for future uh, listeners? Uh, yes, compared to May paper, I think INI has been uh, predominantly asking questions from the preclinical subjects. But this time I was in the morning batch and in the morning set, I observed that there was like 50-50 ratio of preclinical and clinical. So this time they did focus a bit on clinical as well. And in clinical, I felt particularly emergency medicine was asked a lot this time. Like uh, from every clinical subject, they did ask one emergency question at least. <laughs> so uh, compared to May paper, I did feel that uh, the weightage on preclinical was a little lesser. And even from clinical, they asked like very basic questions like NYHA grading, etc. So I think basic knowledge helps a lot. And uh, I think uh, questions from micro were a little bit trickier, especially image based questions, because one thing the images weren't that clear. So only from the main question, uh, we had to just pick up the clues and then come to the answers. Just looking at the image wouldn't suffice. I think, you know, that is one valid point that somebody had to raise that the images were not clear in this year's not exam. Clear. And I'm so glad that you picked it up. But it is important that all future aspirants should also think in those lines that sometimes when you're zooming the image and seeing it mm -hmm. and then diagnosing it in the real exam, you might have to do with a lower resolution image. Mm -hmm. So you have to get used to making little bit of... Uh, you know, diagnosis from a bird's eye view where you don't have the ability to zoom, but you are able to answer. So this was one of the factors that affected this year's exam. And yes. another thing I noticed was that the clinicals were also given their due regard this year. Yes. Although still there will be more questions on first, second year, but the clinicals were given the place which were not there in the May exam, especially, you know, my subject radiology. I am so happy. Yes, they asked sir. Radiology. truly, yeah. sir. <laughs> Many questions from radio. Yeah. And uh, Pratiksha, I also want to know from you, like, you know, any particular incidents or any particular classes you remember where you had a Eureka moment in the class and you were like, you were a damn student for three years. Any particular moments that, you know, remember like, Are, ab samaj aaya, yaar. this is when I am able to understand what this topic is all about. So I think your classes, radiology helped a lot because uh, you used to go from basic anatomy to radiology. So Initially, when I started on my own, uh, picking up radiology images, I couldn't understand even a single thing, like how to look at even liver spleen was very difficult to identify. But I think uh, the basic concept from anatomy to radiology, I think that is what gives an edge. 
and i particularly liked like all the faculty especially medicine all the faculties arvin sir achin sir everybody uh, psychiatry and uh, dermat especially and obj of course deepthi ma'am uh, her notes were also very crisp and concise and uh, pratiksha i also now want to know from you like did you also appear for the grand tests and the cbt that we conducted and were you uh, you know did you find the pattern of our cbt and the ini exam did you think that we were able to mimic that yes i attended uh, ini cbt and uh, i was overwhelmed when i got rank 1 in cbt so that was quite unexpected uh, and <laughs> i saw that there were like more number of questions in the cbt than the regular exam there were 216 questions and there were all sorts of questions asked in the cbt like multiple correct then true and false assertion reasoning and that kind of gave an extra edge uh, to the ini exam as well and uh, you know attending a cbt does reduce anxiety a lot because uh, you know when you are in the home environment and giving tests uh, the time management kind of you cannot take control of it but when you are writing a cbt the time management helps a lot there so because you are in that environment where you need utmost focus and there are so many distractions on that side so those distractions are minimized when you give a cbt and were you happy with the were you happy with the shorter revision courses that we have like dvt aims capsule emergency room which put things in one place and you can rapidly uh, capture those material yes sir uh, i used uh, in my last 10 days especially i used only aims capsule dvt and uh, emergency room and the previous years papers i did only that much for the last 10 days and uh, i saw that there were many direct repeats from the previous year's questions in fact even the options order weren't changed for two to three questions so that was very important and approximately like five to six questions could be answered only by aims capsule so definitely those gave me an extra edge and i think you know it's very very important that when we do aims capsule or when we create those sessions it is by analyzing what has been asked in the past and yes. in inict the topic repeat is very very important sometimes mm-hmm. i see students doing too much but not looking at the topics which have been asked in the exam and i want to you know put this on record once more for all the future aspirants usual topics are usually asked unusual topics are unusually asked please focus on usual your rank will improve a lot and uh, pratiksha you know when we are at this mode when we are discussing the paper any particular topics like you said microbiology was tricky any other topics you want to tell to future aspirants that these are the topics or zones they should fix uh, you know definitely don't miss for the may exam i think in uh, emergencies are a must uh, definitely everything is asked from emergencies basic and i think radiology images are very important ophthal images even if you don't go through the subject at least images of ophthal radio and my, uh, microbiology are very important and uh, apart from that like pre clinical of course has got a little bit of more edge especially pharmacology and pathology this time there was a lot of questions asked in pathology about neoplasia like uh, genetics and all that so i would like them to focus on the general pathology rather than the systemic part uh, so that truly helps and uh, especially psychiatry the questions are becoming more and more tricky so i think because psychiatry I mean, it's because of the nimhans uh, being in yes, the board yes sir yes nimhans uh, so like very basic questions they are asking so it's better that uh, people focus on psychiatry also the, the, i think those are golden advices from a top ranker this year she is i want to remind the listeners she is rank 4 ini ct this year it is a massive achievement by a tremendously intelligent girl pratiksha we are very very proud of you and we are super excited to be able to interview you today so the listeners would also want to know from you beta that you have been studying you have you are a classroom student of dams you have been putting your 3 years into classes you were going into the college also but still do you have any other hobbies do you have any non medical side of yours which people don't know uh yes sir. like uh, i like listening to music i am a singer as well and awesome. apart from that i like organizing events so i was very proactive in uh, all the fests conducted in our college so yes pretty much i think you are an all rounder and do you think that gives you the you know the necessary motivation and the you know balance that is required in the mental health nowadays that when you are a more balanced personality it makes it a e- little bit more easier uh, rather than if somebody is only studying they will put too much stress on themselves yes sir um, having a hobby helps a lot because uh, when you are preparing uh, continuously for so many months there is there are few periods where you completely burn out yourself and uh, then there are instances where you might actually give up but having a hobby helps a lot because 
you study for like say eight hours a day and you practice your hobby for two hours also it's more than enough uh, because you will have that mental peace and balance and uh, that would necessarily prevent the burnout which happens usually if you study for like say sixteen hours a day or something like that. And now you you have attended a face to face classroom during your foundation years. So do you think attending it in the classroom also makes it more like easier on health than you know sitting at home and then procrastinating doing it again? Do you think when somebody is attending in the class, the teachers are there in front of you, other friends are there? Do you think it is uh, more easier on your mental health and burnout later on because you have a group of friend in every break to you know chit chat and discuss? Do you think that mm-hmm. helps? Yes, sir, it truly helps because uh, if you're sitting at home, definitely procrastination is there, and you end up missing topics. But uh, if you are in the class, then uh, there is a specific schedule of the classes so that you won't miss out on anything and you complete your schedule on time. If you just uh, you know don't watch face-to-face classes and uh, procrastinate, then there is a good amount of chance that you won't complete in the given amount of time, and then there'll be simply anxiety added at the last moment. I think the uh, if there is a organized classrooms, it always helps you with the schedule, and you have a schedule yes. to follow. You don't have to do it yourself. You just need to follow the have faith on the system and follow the uh, schedules. So then the things yes. start getting covered up, and then you yes. were also part of the e medicos live course uh, INI CT TND, where yes. you could do the test and discussion on the app live. Do you think uh, asking doubts in the chat box created some uh, energy for you during the discussions? Yes, sir. Uh, the discussions were amazing. Uh, I made a lot of friends in the discussion group as well, and uh, every time you know we used to rush about to answer the questions in the uh, chat, and we used to solve doubts online. So that kind of helped a lot, and it was really motivating that so many other people are also attending the classes. So many other people are also preparing with you. So you did not feel like alone at that moment. I think you always had the spark, whether <clears throat> you were in a classroom or you were in a you know live class on the app. You had the spark to connect. and you could make friends even on the chat box itself yes so it is you know so great to you know meet uh, uh, such a dynamic young lady and i'm sure she is going to rock whatever branch she takes but do you have you given any thoughts to the branch so far uh yes i would like to take up general medicine that's great and any you know when when was it that you decided that you will take medicine during your career was it third year fourth year when when was this you know clear in your mind many people would ask you that pata kab chala uh, i was interested in medicine right from my uh, second year but then uh, the final clarity came only after internship uh, when i actually attended the postings that is when i realized that this is what i want to do uh, so only once when you go into the department you just see it by yourself uh, then i think you'll get a good clarity i am a firm believer in manifestation that you know whatever you imagine it happens so did you imagine at any point of time that you will be giving this interview after a top rank in iict probably so <laughs> <laughs> did you imagine at any time that you will be doing your md medicine from a top institute top most institute actually yes i had this belief that i have to go to the top institute and uh, this was my first serious attempt and i was like very sure that this attempt has to be it i don't want to give another attempt and uh, will you stop at md medicine or will you go beyond also let's try to you know now imagine the further path <laughs> will you stop at md medicine or any other any sub specialty of medicine particularly fascinates you uh, i have always been fascinated fascinated by neurology sir so i would like to pursue my career in that direction so, so I, definitely i, I won't you know, stop at md i think you know she is not going to stop at anything way, way i see it today i am sure you will do you will rock and you will do a lot of good work in your life you will touch many lives both academically as well as uh, clinically and i am sure you will rock beta i also now want to know from you any particular inspirational thought that you want to share to future aspirants or anything that helps you during your low times when you are not feeling confident any inspirational thought that you want to share with the listeners so one thing i would like to tell that uh, never give up on yourself and uh, second thing is that you should give your best possible attempt so that you don't have regrets that even if your rank goes bad you shouldn't have that regret that you did not try hard so i think that pretty much helps in uh, motivating me a lot that this should be my best attempt definitely and the entire idea is do your best in the attempt that you are appearing for it may not be best out of all but at least it should be your best attempt i think that yes. is the key 
beta do you have your parents around or anybody in the family around where i can congratulate them as well right now uh yes i have my mother around just a second i think it will be a pleasure to meet her good afternoon sir Heartiest congratulations, heartiest congratulations, madam. Rank four, bacha has got rank four. Yes, awesome, all over thank India. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. We are, we are very, very proud of our achievement. Thank you for giving us a chance to be a part of our journey, and we are overwhelmed by the bacha's clear mindset. Usko pura pata hai ki usko kya karna hai. Aapne bas usko dikha dikhate gaye. Aapki mehnat hai. Aapne usko you have given her such you know nice upbringing. कि उसको अभी आगे तक का पूरा पता है आई थिंक शी विल मेक श्योर कि आपका नाम रोशन हो शी विल मेक श्योर दैट यू नो योर नेम शाइंस टॉप ऑफ शी इज अ ब्रिलियंट गर्ल यस सर इवन वी फील प्राउड कुछ आप बताना चाहते हैं डू यू वांट टू टेल एनीथिंग अबाउट हर टू द ऑडियंस दैट नोबडी नोस सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर वी थैंक एंटायर डैम्स फैमिली फॉर द गाइडेंस मोटिवेशन एंड सपोर्ट Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. And anything, beta, if mummy wants to say anything in the mother tongue, also it's uh, to the future aspirants. I think she has also seen your journey side by side. Because I'm just my dad. Okay, sir. Uh, she's just wishing all the best for all the aspirants. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. So, bache, any final message from your side? so that's all sir one thing is never give up and uh, believe in yourself you will definitely do the best and uh, it's not hard to crack i n i c t it's just that logic should be clear you should be able to rule out the options that's enough you need not know everything about the subject uh, you should be able to just rule out options and that's more than enough to crack it key word in the mcq exams are rule out options okay. make crisp concise notes multiple revisions give test give more and more test and and you can be in this position in the subsequent year and give an interview just like dr pratiksha is giving after getting a rank 4 she must have imagined herself in this position once you know many years back maybe in her subconscious and it manifested today is your time to applause see the interview seek inspiration and imagine yourself in her position imagine your parents in place of her parents and then draw inspiration work harder make it happen don't tie your self esteem to any rank i want to tell all the listeners ऐसे मत सोचो इफ यू नॉट डन वेल दिस टाइम तो सब खराब हो गया ऐसा कुछ नहीं है इट्स अ लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस यू कैन डू बेटर नेक्स्ट टाइम एंड प्रतीक्षा इट हैज बीन अ प्लेजर टू टॉक टू यू आई एम सेंडिंग यू ऑल माय बेस्ट विशेस एंड ब्लेसिंग्स एंड ऑसम ऑसम यू नो परफॉर्मेंस बेटा वी आर वेरी प्राउड ऑफ यू गॉड ब्लेस यू बेटा थैंक यू सर बाय बच्चे बाय बाय बाय